Understanding sales tax is insane. Have you ever bought something and noticed some extra charge at the checkout? Well, in case you've been wondering what sales tax is all about, there you have your answer. But what's the big deal about it though? Sales tax is like the VIP pass for goods and services in your shopping cart, adding a little extra charge to that bill. But here's the thing, that extra cash goes straight to the government. And you should care about it because sales tax isn't just a random fee. It helps in funding public services, think of roads, schools, all the good stuff your community needs. So when you're fuming over that extra bits of cash, you're basically contributing to the well-being of your neighborhood. Pretty cool stuff, right? A little confusion exists between sales tax, income tax, and property tax. These three all have different pounds of flesh with cash, in this case, that they enjoy taking. Income tax takes a slice of your paycheck. Property tax is for homeowners, and they take money from them, and, well, shoppers have to worry about sales tax. One very important thing to know about sales tax is that is isn't a one-size-fits-all. Location impacts it a whole lot. So we have a lot of clients that sell on Shopify and they're always so confused about sales tax. So I'm making this video clear the air and let them know that sales tax, although confusing, we can break it down for you so that you can understand it so much better after watching this video. Let's do some examples. The sales tax in New York City for a hot dog and a cool pair of sneakers might be different from what's attainable in the quiet town of Wyoming. So always bear in mind the next time you're enjoying that gadget or piece of merchandise. In this video, we'll be discussing how Shopify owners can set up sales tax in their Shopify stores. What are the legal requirements for Shopify store owners? Firstly, sales tax compliance. Running a Shopify store is a lot to handle and the legal aspects especially might stress the heck out of you. But trust me, it's your backbone. Compliance matters a lot in sales tax. And do you know why? It is so that you're always on the right side of the e-commerce law. All right, so what happens if you don't play by the rules? Consequences follow. Penalties, fines, legal issues, and headlights galore. Which you can avoid by simply sticking to the rule. So let's talk about some Shopify tax settings. First things first, how do you even get started? Go ahead and open up your Shopify dashboard and once you're in, go to settings. Voila, you're gonna see a pretty clear word that says, this is the tax section. Click on it, and there you can start setting up your sales tax. The component of Shopify tax settings include the tax regions, remember each region has its own set of rules, and the tax rates area, where you can assign specific tax rates to your product based on where they find the forever home. Next up is tax overrides which lets you tweak the rules for specific product or customers. And finally, there's also tax services. These are automation tools that makes the whole tax calculation easier. TaxNexus is something that I really need you guys to get familiar with. TaxNexus is just a fancy term for the connection between your online store and the tax jurisdiction. Why does it matter? Well, it determines whether you're in the area it's supposed to be to collect and remit sales tax in a particular area. In other words, you need to pay attention here flag for your business. Now, what creates this tax nexus? It's all about connections. If your store has a physical presence in the state, like an office, warehouse, or even a friendly robot, okay, I meant employee, congratulations, you got a nexus. But it's not just bricks and mortars. Selling goods in a location also matters. Even if your base 100% aligned, the tax bill will come to knocking because there's a thing called economic nexus. Economic nexus is when it doesn't even matter if you have a physical tie to a location as long as you sell a certain amount of products to a state. Basically, you ship a certain amount of products to a state. That establishes economic nexus. So how do you go about figuring out your state's tax nexus? Start by listing now where your business has any physical ties, offices, store, storage, or remote employees. Then look at where your products are landing. If you're making large amount of sales in certain states, guess what? Potential economic nesting alert. Now, let's talk about setting up manual tax rates. Setting up manual tax rate with Shopify store can be a tasking advice, but hey, this is what we're here for, right? Let me walk you through the process. So before we go ahead, hey, do me a quick failure, will you? Hit that like and subscribe button. This is so you don't miss out on future updates where we talk about sales tax, tax savings, everything that you need to know to make sure you keep more profit in your pocket. Done? Thanks, my friend. Let's see what's next in stock for us. Okay, so I think we're talking about how to set up your Shopify manual tax rates. Step one, head to your Shopify dashboard. That's your control center. Once you're in, move to the settings section. 
then taxes. Pretty easy, right? Step two, you're now in the tax setting now. Find the tax regions in the rate section. Click add a region and you're ready to roll. Step three, choose your tax region, the place where your products call home. Now the main part, setting those rates. Click on add a rate, punch in your digits and hit save. Rinse and repeat for all the different regions if needed. That's it. Easy as that. The hard part, of course, is figuring out where those rates are. Okay, I know what you're thinking now. Why bother with manual rates? Let's use this scenario to illustrate why it is important. Imagine a moment you're selling unique products, each with its own tax rates. Manual rates let you tailor rates to fit your product lineup. If you're very good at limited time discounts or exclusive promotions, manual rates give you the flexibility to adjust taxes accordingly. It dances just to your tune. Can you utilize automated tax services. Automated services come with a lot of cons and pros, but one thing is undeniable. These automated services take the headache out of crunching numbers and ensure your sales tax are as smooth as butter. There's hardly any need for you to even do anything. Just sit around and allow Shopify to handle the work. Some automated tax services that you can make use of include Vertex Cloud. Vertex Cloud provides automated tax solutions for various taxes, including sales tax. It offers accurate tax calculations, filings, and reporting services. Vertex Cloud integrates with popular accounting and e-commerce platform, ensuring businesses stay compliant with changing tax regulation. TaxJar. TaxJar is a user-friendly automated sales tax platform designed for e-commerce businesses. It automates sales tax calculations, reporting, and filing. The service integrates with major shopping carts and marketplaces, simplifying the process of businesses with an online presence. There's also AI software for sales tax. One of them is the AI Avalara Avatax. It leverages artificial intelligence. Avatax is an advanced sales tax automated solution. It uses machine learning algorithms to adapt to changing tax laws and regulations, providing accurate sales tax calculations for all e-commerce owners. Avertax integrates seamlessly with various business systems, ensuring real-time tax calculations. Some of the pros of using these services include saves time, right? First of all, all business owners are just very busy and they don't have time to deal with taxes sometimes. And so by using one of these services, manual calculation becomes a thing of the past. You no longer have to spend hours staring at spreadsheets, like, you know, like they have a puzzle. Accuracy. Automation also means just fewer human errors. Your task calculations are as precise as a laser-guided missile. Constant updates. Tax laws changes like fashion trends. With automated services, you're always in the latest tax laws and changes while lifting a finger. But let's talk about some cons. Cost considerations. Some of these automated services come with price tag, which not everyone might be able to afford, especially if your business hasn't grown to a certain size. Another thing is not one size fits all. Automated services are slick, but they not cover every tax situation, especially the unique ones. You need to keep an eye out for those exceptions. And sometimes customer service might not be the best in those softwares. And when you really need help, they might not give you an answer fast enough. In a nutshell, automated tax service can be a trusted wingman when it comes to Shopify tax sales tax, but it does come with some hindrance. Handling exemptions. When it comes to taxes, some transaction customers might be exempt from paying taxes. It's crucial to recognize those special cases to avoid unnecessary financial issues. Sales tax exemptions vary by jurisdictions, and specific rules depend on local and state tax laws. Some common examples of sales tax exemption that businesses and consumers might encounter are clothing and footwear exemptions. In many jurisdictions, sales tax exemptions apply to clothing and footwear up to a certain dollar amount per item. Essentials like shirts, pants, and shoes may be exempt from sales tax. Groceries exemptions. Medical products and services exemptions. Some jurisdiction exempts medical products like prescription drugs and certain medical services from sales tax to promote health accessibility. So what are the steps to manage exemptions on Shopify? Step one, head to your Shopify dashboard, click on tax settings, and then taxes. You'll find a section called tax exemption. Step two, add the customers for transactions deserving of the exemption status. Step three, save those changes. And that's it. Users mastered are managing exemptions on Shopify so that Shopify do not apply sales tax to those transactions or customers. Common mistakes to avoid. Blunders can happen when it comes to Shopify tax setup. No need to freak out, but you need to keep these common mistakes in mind, learn from them, and be able to troubleshoot like a pro. Some of these mistakes include forgetting to set up tax regions, miscalculating rates, or even miss missing exemptions. How do you fix them? 
let's troubleshoot a little bit. First, it's very important to double check your settings. Go to your Shopify dashboard, head to settings and click on taxes. Look through it, make sure your tax wages are accurate, your rates are correct and your exemptions are in place. Do you have the correct registration set up for certain states that have crossed the economic threshold? Make sure to punch those in for those states and the sales tax dashboard will reflect that those states are now ready to collect sales tax and Shopify will do the legwork for you. They will apply any shipment that goes out to those specific states and customers and make sure that you are collecting the sales tax and holding it so that you can file the sales tax returns, make sure that the states are getting their proper dollars, they don't come after you. It is very important to know that which states have crossed the thresholds. My general rule of thumb is, if your shop is making anything north of $350,000, most likely you have triggered sales tax thresholds in one or more states. This is very important. You want to get ahead of the problem. What happens is, when you don't go ahead and register in those sales tax, they may later come back to you for what they call back taxes. And that is going to be a huge issue for you. When states come for you for back taxes, that could be months or years of taxes that you fail to pay to that state. That means that you have never collected sales tax from those customers. And in the end, what the problem is, is you are taking money from your own profit to pay for sales tax that you owe those states. Yes, there is no way you can always go back to those customers for months and years later and say, hey, hey, can you pay the sales tax for these items now? That is not going to be a thing. You're going to get ignored 95% of the time. So remember to always get ahead of the game. If you have taxes and state that shows up on your Shopify tax platform as already having triggered sales tax registration needs, make sure you go ahead and do that. So back to what we're talking about. Remember, setting up sales tax for your Shopify store also means that you have to constantly do the following. Stay updated. We said it before and we'll say it again. Keep an eye on tax law changes. Something is not always changing when it comes to tax and you don't want to be left behind. Regular audits. Do audits of your Shopify tax setup. It's like a health check for your business will help you detect issues before they become headaches. Customer communication. Be transparent with your customer. Clearly communicate how taxes are calculated and if there are any changes, always let them know. Now that you're well versed in handling Shopify sales tax, let me introduce you to a game changer when it comes to e-commerce self tax solution. That's right, us, free cash for the IO. Unlike other sales tax services, our platform provides you with the best of both worlds. With our done for you sales tax compliance service, you can sit back, relax, while we handle all the complexity of the sales tax regulation. Say goodbye to the hassle of navigating through the intricate tax codes. Our platform automates the entire process for you. But on the flip side, we're not like one of those automated services that do not have the customer service touch. You're talking to the customer service team right here. I'm always going to be the one that's going to be handling your sales tax calculations. If you have any questions or anything ever falls behind, you can always contact me and I'll answer you in 24 hours. And this has been a great solution for a lot of e-commerce business owners out there because they realize that this is the type of service that they always wanted. Some the one that takes care of all their backend issues for them but at the same time, they get the personal touch of a CPA that can talk to them and make sure that they get the personalized service they deserve. We also provide any kind of support for issues or discrepancies with your tax sales tax payment that might rise with the state revenue department. Our team of certified professionals is always here to assist you, ensuring a smooth resolution to any tax-related challenges or state sales tax letters. So don't miss out on the benefit of having both comprehensive sales tax compliance and dedicated CPA support. Anyway, that's my plug. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below to our sales tax e-commerce page. So in the meantime, hope you learned something about sales tax and Shopify's tax platform setup on this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up button, stay updated on similar insightful content. Experience the ease of managing your sales tax with our e-commerce sales tax platform. In any case, if you have a comment or questions about your Shopify sales tax dashboard or setup, Feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to answer those questions for you so that you no longer stay confused or have to Google things and not sure if it's the right answer. So if you like this video and you learned something, smash that thumbs up button for me so you don't miss out any of our content. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I will always here to help you with your tax saving needs. Thanks so much. Alan out.